Welcome to the Plot Network. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install OpenSUSU version, attached version 13 on a virtual box. So to install, let me tell you what is OpenSUSU. It's a free and Linux based operating system for a PC, laptop, servers. And you can surface this and manage your emails, photos, do work, office, play music, videos, and lots of fun. So OpenSUSU Worldwide is promise you Linux everywhere. It's a community to develop and maintain your package and distribution infrastructure. Foundation of your world's most flexible and powerful Linux distributor. That is nothing but this OpenSUSU is a Linux distributor. And then well, this is the links where you can download your open so let me show you open google typers open so 13 and here is the first link where you can download after opening this link here directly this is the website open so and here you can download here so you can download here open so see with the size is showing about 4.7 gb dvd suitable for usb sticks also and here is the method you can download error you can download for html or uh, the direct http or else you can download from BigTorrent the meta links or mirrors this is a uh, process this is the architecture method which you, which you want to download whether 32 process you need quite for 64 64 bit anyone you can sell it and the so documentation you can read and this is a live genome live kd resume network open so help is here is a very process download method is there so i have downloaded from the BitTorrent, which i have already downloaded this one this is the size you can see which i have already downloaded this open source and let me show you how to install this in your virtual box just open click on new and type here open and type here open s s c after tapping select your version whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit you have download click on next assign the ram as juma says do not go beyond to this red point stay on green click on next next and here is your hard disk where you are going to store your installation of your susu open susi and here is your hard disk size which i am going to assign by default you can set your location or else you can change uh, so now I've changed my location and click on create just click go to the settings and here we need to send some and check this floppy scroll down and go to the network select bridge adapter so that you can access internet click on storage assign your ISO image where you have downloaded just click on this empty here and choose after selecting here is your uh, open so so click on ok click ok click on start now it's showing about this methods for installation as you can go from boot from hard disk else you can install resume your system or check installation media frame test or memory test if want and here is the f2 for your language selection f3 for your video mode f4 source mode kernel for f5 and f6 for driver slow so here i'm going to just press and enter here for installation and it's loading the kernel if you want to change the language means press f2 and select your language and if you want to go for video mode or by default select it and source dvd means you are from booting from pen drive or from cd empty so you can you can press f4 and you can select the select F5 for kernel loading by default it will loading and F6 no driver is found means if by if found drivers means it will select show default So now we have to select your language which this is the language for your installation and if keyboard language this one and here is your step by step installation step by step process is there for installation just scroll down and this is the license agreement is there 
and the score launches and here is your you can upload and you can click on next for go to for the next step after clicking on next here if you scroll up this showing about system probing prove usb is check okay this all those have been checked and here is the installation method it's if you want to upgrade if you are already have a 13 version we want to upgrade to the 14 version you can select this option for the new installation click on by check this one option only and click on next the time zone select which country you belongs to so i belongs to kolkata india so i have selected my language time zone click on next and here is your uh, desktop key there you require KDE or Genome desktop or else other speeds you can have it so I am selecting KDE only and just scroll up and here is suggested partition showing swap created 2 GB uh, root partition is given level, level GB and created volume disk flash for slash home 16 GB so if you want to create LVMS check this box you can create is encrypt the volume group if you want to have that means swap suspend link if you want to create partition import the partition edit the partition if you want to edit do something else means you can have it this partition if you want to create manually means you can select this partition if you want to import me you can select this so i am automatic it has been created partition i am going to click on next so yes we need to create a login the first username we need to assign full name and giving my cloud network and here my login will be cloud and uh, assign the password of this and remember this password please whenever you are signing so we want to change this method at, uh, show this password storage in slash etc slash password if you want to change the location you can change it so i am going to click on next uh, if you want to uncheck this one uh, automatic login means it will you can check and it will be asked for login before into your account and showing this password is too simply if you want to use it is the password means click yes and it's performing the selection and it's shown see scrolling up you will see the installation settings and it's showing softwares are these other softwares local settings time zone by scrolling one by one it's showing systems image click to install everything and showing the clinical installation base is not completed go and check the settings <coughs> if you want to continue the partition we have created if you want to continue you can continue if you want to change with the partition you can click and go back so i'm going to click on continually if you want to do something else with the partition means you can click on back and do do the changes and come back to your installation and here while it's state for installation so you can have a coffee or tea My system has been re reboot now. The installation has been completed and it's rebooted now. After reboot now, so just uh, press enter to have boot from the hard disk directly. Installation has been completed. Now we are going to need to log in here. This is the settings, this is the browser, and this is the hard disk. I need to check. Now our installation has been completed, and now after reboot, 
our desktop came here you can see on screen this is a open source projects community building introduction is about KDE close this box and you can see on the screen and this is a tool showing desktop uh, if you want to add badge gates means you can have if you want to leave me to shut down if you lock the screen if you want to lock the badge gate you can use a browser and here open susu is there just click on open susu here it show you our instruction is there okay and here is the start menu see start menu about terminal is there photo player web browser if you want to search anything means you can type a search here and you will be found to shut down this your computer like home folder you need to check means you can check here and see it's coming here is showing me about this my partition drive this one which i have created and this is a network drive and root trash is there so this is the for home data home folder and this is your time zone and this one is your iso image assigned and this one is your network so basically this is are the installations here the shortcoming here if you want to click it will be close so if you want to add to add something right click and go ahead so this is my the end of this uh, susu linux installation so if you have any clarification during the installation or if you get any problem in my, during the installation means you can comment below to my video so you can subscribe to my uh, uh, channel youtube channel itcloudnet so this is the end of my video thank you for watching itcloudnet